Hey guys, here it is, and it's time for a movie you should watch. And so it's me telling you what you should watch. That opening was really kind of lame. Sorry. Alright, everybody. Yeah, I know. That was a lame opening. I get one. Just give me one. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Uh, it's time for a movie you should watch, and uh, this time we're going to be talking about an animated feature. And actually, this is going to be a little bit of a strange one due to the fact that there's actually two animated features on this collection, but I only reference one of them. Okay? And so you can shut up, but uh, it's going to be Marvel's The Hulk vs. Wolverine and The Hulk vs. Thor. You know, you see that real nice there, with that glare on it. Yeah. Okay. Marvel and DC have begun to throw out all kinds of animated features, and they're making them pretty short, but that's okay, because they, they're being really good about the storytelling in them, and that's what the whole point of any kind of animated comic book feature is, is the story's got to drive it. And the reason that I'm talking about this one today is, when it first came out, I was so excited that I just ran out and got it. I mean, I had to own this movie, and or own movies, I guess. And took it home, got ready to watch it, started watching it. The Wolverine movie is fantastic. It only runs like 40-something minutes. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still a movie. It's a full feature, it tells a full story, ends on a cliffhanger, but you know what? It's good. It's awesome. It's one huge fight. It's a guy movie if I ever saw one. Great voice acting in it. You'll you'll notice some of the people if you're an anime fan, if you've watched any cartoons in the last ten years, you'll notice some of the voice actors. And it's a really good story. It's just basically like driven right out of the comics. Wolverine sent to uh, Canada by the uh, Department H to hunt down the Hulk, who's rampaging and destroying stuff like the Hulk always does. And of course, they had to throw in some bad guys in there, so they chose to throw in other people from the Weapon X project. They actually go into Wolverine's origin. Down and out, it's probably the best animated features ever. Now the problem is, is there's a losing side to it. The losing side is the fact that there is the Thor movie. We have no problem with Thor. Thor's one of my favorite characters. But what happens is, when you put him into an animated feature, there's some great things about it. I mean, we get explained why the Hulk has made it to Asgard. We get this huge, just landscape, and the artwork's beautiful, and I mean, you get to see the Warriors 3, and it's great. But it makes you fall asleep. It has a tendency to just make me want to go completely unconscious. And it's just because it's drawn out. I mean, to get from the good part of the plot to the fight scene, which is what you wanted to see in the movie in the first place, don't get me wrong, I know that's what you wanted to see, is the Hulk and Thor throw down. You have to spend an enormous amount of time just basically sitting around going, oh, any day now. You think they're going to fight? Got five bucks on the Hulk. But the point being is, the first half the, the Wolverine movie is completely awesome, and that's the one you should really see. Now, I know you're probably going to have to get both, of course, to see them, but um, it's worth it. And I do want to say this. This is not one of the Marvel animated movies that I would show young children, and the reason is is because it's extremely violent. There are people getting slashed left and right. The Hulk and Wolverine fights very, very, uh, just... Oh, just ultra-violent. I mean, there's lots of stabbing, and there's lots of slashing going on and stuff like that. So it's not something I'd show young children. I'd let them stick to the other ones that are much more calmer and have violence, but not enough. You know what I'm saying? Cartoony violence is okay, but this really pushes the envelope for some things. But like I said, it's a good movie. You need to see it. And that's all i got to say about Hulk vs. Wolverine and Hulk vs. Thor. You make your decision. You let me know down in the comments down there. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Anyway... This is movies that you should be watching. It's me telling you what to watch. Later.